put the seatbelt on. Good morning guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Luke. Um, and as you can probably tell, again, or still rather, my um, my voice is still a little bit sore. If I, if I start talking loud like this, you can sometimes tell. <coughs> right, we're in the yard. We are just going to drive out the yard and drive to the place where we get loaded. So, hopefully you've all had a fantastic week so far. I uploaded a point of view video yesterday. Um, I don't know whether this video will get uploaded today or not. I might take a couple of days to edit it. But we shall see how long that takes, that's for sure. Uh, today, there's three jobs on the cards. We've got one to Upper Lambourne, which is like home of the racehorse. It's a horrible road to drive down. We've got a job to Stroud to do, which again, tight roads. And we've got an ID to Reading. But um, we'll soon see. Anyway, so now we're in the other yard. This is where we get loaded. And um, next time you see me, we uh, shall be off to where our destination is. Okay, we're off. We are off. So we're going to Upper Lambourne, which is um, home of the uh, horse race. Horses. Race horse. Race horse, that's the one, not the horse race. Home of the race horse. Wow. It's home to hold anyway. I've been, uh, I've been to Upper Lambourne before. We had to do some uh, tarmac in a, uh, in a stable. And I went past the place I had to go into. Um, so I had to turn around, but before I turned around, there were horses coming the other way, and I slowed down, I mean I slowed right down. Um, so much in fact that the, the lorry kicked itself into second gear, or third gear, whatever it was, might have been third actually. That's how much I slowed down, because it's an automatic. It kicked itself out of the high gear that I was in, and went into a low gear. It just happened to have done this when the horse was right next to me. There's a group of three horses, and one of the women said, can you not drive a little bit slower, please? I was like, I, I, honestly, I slowed right down. I was doing no more than five mile an hour. I was crawling. But because the um, because the lorry kicked out of its high gear and into an low gear, it made a noise, you know what I mean? Like, well, never mind. But yeah, I just spoke to uh, the new guy that I trained up. I just spoke to him, because he's got to go there later. And I just said, just be careful. As you can go round a corner, it's country roads, you go down the corner and then all of a sudden there's a group of horses there. <coughs> yeah, that's where we're going. Quite heavy, man. Yeah. Um, there's 240 tons going, so it's quite a big job. So, um, I don't know what they're doing. They've done a few of these farms before. they spent quite a bit of money making them look nice. I think they have like, some of the farms that I've been to, they have houses on the land. Uh, and they sort of like rent those houses out to the workers. Or the workers live there or whatever. But yeah, a lot of the farms look quite nice. Not that I'm a farmer or anything. It just looks peaceful. But yeah, that's where we're going. Upper Lambourne. Upper, upper Lambourne. Later on we got Stroud. So if we do continue to do that, it might be where I went yesterday. So at least I know where it is. And then we got a Reddit. Uh, which is a very usual, normal run, and again, I don't know who that is, so hopefully, apart from this job, it should be really easy. <coughs> On the last vlog that I did, I, uh, what was I going to say? On the, yeah, on the last, <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. On the last vlog I did, um, I had my mic turned on, but I don't think it was coming out of the mic. So hopefully, you can hear me a lot better. I mean, if I do this, it should be louder. Hello, hello. If that wasn't louder, then the mic broke. So I guess we'll find out when I upload. I guess we'll find out. Yesterday, I hit the magic 5,000 subscribers. So thank you very much for everyone who subscribed to me. Although, I did hit the 5,000 quite a few times. 
because it kept going up to 5,000, then down, then up, then down, then up, then down. Um, at one point yesterday, I had 5,001 subscribers, and then later on, I checked and I had 4,997. Um, one of you uh, guys mentioned in my point of view video that you were my 5,000th subscriber. And then someone quite rightly pointed out underneath that, wow, it actually for me it says 4,990, whatever it was. Um, as with all YouTube channels, not only do I gain subscribers, but I lose subscribers as well. It's just, it's just a natural thing, it happens. Luck I'm in the fortunate position where I'm lucky enough to gain more subscribers faster than I'm losing them. Therefore, it's going up slowly. So uh, yeah, thank you to each and every single one of you. Obviously I can't name all 5,000 of you, but yeah, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. Uh, and thank you for the ones of you who are very active in my comment section. Because um, it's sort of alright having 5,000 subscribers. It don't mean anything really if you haven't got a fan base actually talking to you. So um, yeah, thank you. thanks for subscribing, thanks for commenting, and thanks for liking. But um, yeah, to you Bell Enter to keep disliking my video. <laughs> Yeah, I got one or two dislikes on my on the last few videos. So um over one of you aren't really happy with what I'm doing or it's just one of those little hater things. I hate them people, whatever you want to call them. I'm so gangster, as you can call it down. Right. Quickly, it can be a nightmare getting out of when you're in a lorry, especially when it's rush hour. It's like half past eight now, so people are trying to get to work. There's just no room for two vehicles to pass each other, unless they're two cars. <coughs> and now we're going to have all the cars trying to follow this lorry in. Come up with a system. <coughs> um, I don't put my hand up to say thank you to people if they have to stop. I put my hand up to say thank you to people if they willingly stop, like he did. He willingly stopped to let me out. Other people sometimes they have to, they just have to stop. I mean, that was debatable. Any one of these cars let me out is because they willingly stopped. No, not a single one of them has to let me out. Therefore, I will say thank you. Because they are most deserving of my arm rays. Right, anyway, off to Lambourne we go. Hello guys, right, we're here now. We're up at Lambourne. Fucking loads of horses all over the place. Um, coming into the place where we've had to deliver, I come to a complete stop. All the horses, oh, well, not the horses, the horses didn't say thank you. The people riding the horses said thank you to me because I stopped and I let them come past. Um, come all the way up to the site itself and switched my engine off and they told me to reverse back into where I am now and um, I said well what's wrong with me being here and they go oh the horses jump so my engine is turned off then I'm going to jump if I don't make any noise they said oh no we want you back here so I, I said alright yeah no, no problem I'll come here and then a bloke come up to me and said oh can you uh, can you make sure you're as quiet as possible please don't, make sure the air brakes don't go off I was like what do you mean make sure the air brakes don't go off he said, oh, don't, don't make the hissing noise on purpose. I was like, it makes the hissing noise by itself. He goes, what do you mean? I was like, well, when the air builds up, it releases. It goes, <laughs> And he fucking, he walked off with his mate, and he was calling me a gobshite. <laughs> I was like, he goes, oh, and don't try not to rev the engine. I said, it's an automatic. It's going to change gear by itself. <laughs> fucking, he wasn't happy with me. I said, I'll be as quiet as I can, but it's a fucking lorry at the end of the day. <laughs> So, yeah, never mind. <coughs> Just waiting for 
my other colleague to come out. I'm not entirely sure whether he's tipped or not yet. But yeah, there's fucking horses all over the place. I'll um I'll put the dash cam footage up now. But yeah, cheeky bastard saying calling me a gobshite. And then when I reverse back into here, I spoke to the guy, he said, Who's that guy called me a gobshite? He said, Alright, oh, so I boss. <laughs> so oh, alright. That's an extra hour going on for time arrives. <laughs> What is he doing? They said I got a reverse here, and I said they're fine. I want a banksman. I was, I'm not doing it. But there's fucking horses going up and down everywhere up here, and they're race horses, so they're very skittish apparently. Don't know. Unfortunately, I'm one of the guys that don't care about horses, and I have very strong views about whether they should be on our roads. People say, "Oh, horses were around before cars and lorries." Yeah, they were. But now cars and lorries are here. Get the fuck off the road. Right. Anyway, so hopefully, um, get debt, come back in here, maybe tidy up, and uh, go back and do our next run. Fucking racehorses. Right, so we've just left Lambourne. Uh, we're on our way back to the yard now. <coughs> Uh, turns out the guy that called me a gobshite was um, was the boss, but he was the uh, the boss of the company. I'm a phone ringing now. One sec. One sec, mate. Spin on my hands free. Hello, mate. Yeah, about you. It's not too bad. Follow you, sat nav. It should take you there. Um, I said follow your sat nav, it should take you there, it's just the last bit you need to, to know, that's all. Um, basically, coming into Upper Lambourne, you'll make a left at what it looks like crossroads, it's a single track road. You do go down there, um, but then your sat nav tries to take you right, you need to go left, and then right again. Basically, um, when you get there, there's signs saying Donovan Construction. Um, follow those signs, they're like little white signs. It tells you to go left and it tells you to go right. Uh, it's not too tight, no, it's just if you see a horse, just stop and turn your engine off. Because they're, they're quite funny. I've been called a gobshite <laughs> already by someone. Yeah. Alright mate, see you in a bit. See you later. Bye mate. <coughs> Right, so we're just leaving Lambourne now, on our way back to Cricklade, and um, next job is in Stroud, so that's where we're going. Yeah, it turns out the, the guy that called me a gobshite was um, one of the bosses of the of the site, so don't bother me in the slightest. I've got this fucking lunatic trying to take my dodgy roads here. I'm taking up a lane in a bit and he still tries to overtake me. Um, yeah, so, I fucking use this an asshole, man, like, try not to make too much noise. I'm in a lorry. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to be a bit noisy. <laughs> Never mind. But, um, the gang at the south was with Rockstone. I've, I've been with them quite a few times, so the gang now. They know me. They know me well, so that's all good. So, yeah, back to, um, back to quickly. I did want to try and do a bit of showing you the cleaning up process, but um, it was it was such a tight place that I had to get out as soon as possible to let the next truck in, so I could take my time and sort of get you out and show you all that. So maybe at the next job, maybe try to anyway. Anyway, next time you see me, we shall know where we're going next. Could be Stroud. Could be Stroud. Hello guys, you joined me going very slowly up a hill bit of traffic behind me. <laughs> we, um, we're nearly here now, it's just around the corner pretty much. we It's There's um, dodgy back roads to get into the place. If you just follow your sat nav you'll be going all over the fucking place so you've got to go in a certain way. Um, so yeah, it's one of those one of those tight roads. We've done most of it already but we've got to go through a little village now. 
it's not too bad. First time coming up here, it was a bit wary, but never mind. We're starting to build up a bit of speed now. Like going up that hill, we were doing maybe 10, 15 mile an hour. And now we are starting to go. Dismount clutch. <laughs> We are going straight over. Well, that just means I can see over here now. There we go. Put the seatbelt back on properly. We have to do that, or I'll be pulling out blind without seeing what's coming. So I had to move my old seatbelt over. <coughs> This gang we're going to, they're called KTM. A group of young Welsh boys, normally. They're alright, not too bad. Although they did mark one of my loads of contaminated the other day when it was fucking wasn't, but never mind. A little fucking tiny bit of sand. Right. We're going left where that van has come out. Again, I need to be on the right hand side of the road to get in. rush over today because I I want to go in early. But before I get back anymore, I need to put the flaps up. So I will be right back. I'm back. 
Uh, let's go. They're already waiting for me, so. Let's go. Just reversing back onto the paver. We're going down a hill. So, they need to whack in reverse, whack it in neutral. And here we are. It's a bit quieter here. So I might pull out and clean up over there. And then uh, show you guys what it's like. Up we go. I don't know if you can see anything. Just turn you a little bit. You might be able to see, I'm not sure. I don't know why I'm powering on this. Put that down a bit too fast. <coughs> yeah, so after this job, I haven't got anything else that needs to be done. I'm done after this. Um, just got to have a break still. So, I mean, I'm hoping it's time yet for the rest of the day, but I don't know. See. Might be a bit too early to go here. But um, yeah, so I'll finish tipping off here and then um, I want to try and do some cleaning up and I want you guys to see. So hopefully you can see that in a sec. Right. Just finished tipping. And, um, now I need to tidy up. So. Park over here and tidy up. That is what I'm going to do. I see dump chat there's nothing above me. That we're all good. So what I'm doing now is I'm just lifting the body all the way up just to make sure everything is definitely out. And you're going to come with me. A few of you have said, show us the daily clean up and all that sort of stuff, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you exactly what it is I do. Just for the grinding noise, say it's all the way up. That noise there. Right. Follow me. Great shot of my nose there. So, the first thing you do, and I apologise if you can't hear me very well, the first thing I do is I get go inside my side cabinet and get all my uh, equipment which I need. Although, having said that, I need my gloves. Make sure there's no cars. Right, so to begin with, I'm just going to get the scraper and we'll, uh, we'll see what else I need after that. So this is the body. And the, what I need to do, firstly, is make sure there's no tarmac stuck up the corners here. That's the priority, that is. Once that's done, once I've checked the corners are, are clear, I can break, put the body down and then uh, do a more in-depth clean. There's a car coming down there. Just let that car through. Okay, now, Laurie's falling to pieces here. That back up there, shall we? 
Right, so, lower the lever, body comes down. Now we're going to clean the body. So that's inside the bed. And what I need to do is just get the scraper and literally scrape all this junk off. ages doing this. Some people don't take ages. I know people sometimes take like 20-25 minutes cleaning up their tailgate and their tailgate just makes it all close up on me. Um, I, don't to te I don't tend to take too long cleaning mine up because at the end of the day more tarmac is going to get put on it. It's relatively clean, that's the main thing. Brand new scraper, because my apprentice lost my one. Justin, if you're watching. <laughs> coming on the weekend to clean up the tailgate because it was looking pretty minging and he, um, he was on the inside using my scraper and uh, must have left it in there this Monday morning we got loaded and when we had to go and clean out he remembered he might have left it inside the bed so um, I was like oh cheers Justin Uh, a couple of other places we've got cleaners above the tailgate as well, like this. Clean out all this junk. And we don't to shut properly. And, um, I mean, it's pretty much done. There's not a lot more that needs to be done. My shoes are still pretty... They're better. I don't know if you can quite tell. It's black on black. Back here there's like dry tarmac, rock solid. And um, what we do to sort of try and fix that is spray some diesel on it. So that's what our next job is. Go back to the lorry. got the sprayer which people tend to use for like gardening and stuff and um, inside is a bit of diesel you just spray the back squirt 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 probably should have moved you out of the way first but never mind and that corrodes the, uh, the tarmac which is on it I'm going to spray the shit out of these shoes in the hope that it takes a bit of the tarmac off Say we're good to go. It's not going to get much cleaner unless I spend longer cleaning it. Just wait for that car to go, which is coming from down there. Get the gloves off.
So there's a couple more things we need to do. So I need to lower the tailgate. Um, so I do that. Press that button. And then come over here. The tailgate should be locked. With a bit of luck. Yep, or not. And then finally, I need to put the mud flaps down, which I put up earlier. Less than the. We, we put the mud flaps up. So we can put it off. A little bit hard on it, but only one hand. There's a van coming, so we let the van pass. Um, and the next thing we're going to do, normally we do when we're inside the cab, but I'm going to do outside the cab. And that's close the sheet. So that's the sheet closer. Excellent, eh? We're all done, we can jump back in the cab now. So I just pressed the pause button by accident. Hopefully, we um, got some good footage there. I can't think what That's the plan, anyway. Hopefully, we've got some good footage. Can't pick you anywhere. Aha, that'll do. Just for now. Alright, so we're pretty much done for the day. That's it. Um, gotta have a break and then go back to the yard. So, thank you very much for everyone who's watched this video. Um, just realised you're shaking quite a bit on that. <laughs> yeah, thank you everybody who's watched this video. Thank you once again for everybody who subscribed to me. About uh, 5,000 subscribers. Um, so, it's a new milestone. Next step really is 10,000. Try and get 10,000 subscribers before next Christmas. That would be awesome. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, until next time, drive safe and um, Merry Christmas. Goodbye. Thank you.